I'm the Project Fairy. I help people with their projects. Today we have a boy named James Zerby who we're going to help out. This is his story. I just got signed a project by Miss Lopez and I don't know what to do. And it's due tomorrow. And I don't want to do it. I just wish I had some sort of fairy that would help me on my project. Something to that effect. I don't know. That'd be really nice. Hey James, oh. wake up. I'm the project fairy and I'm here to help you on your English project. Well, I was just planning on writing some poems or a paper on Huck Finn, but I never read the book. Don't worry about that. I got a time machine. Come on! Come on, James. This is my time machine. Let's go see Huckleberry Finn and Jim. Here we are, James. 1866, the year Mr. Mark Twain wrote the novel Huckleberry Finn. What? Look, James. <gasps> this is happy, he was just... I, I can't stand it anymore. I just had to run away. It's just, it's just so hard now. Well, hey there! What's your name, fella? My name is James Irby, and this is the Project Fairy. Boy, you been drinking my puppy's alcohol? Uh. Well, all right then. <laughs> you see, me and Jim, we're gonna run away from my poppy right now. Why are you running away? Well, see, it's just getting real hard, and I just need to get out of there. I can't stand his abusiveness and his drunkenness, and I just want my freedom, man. Okay. You want to come? Sure. Let's thing. go, man. Let's go. What in carnation is that? Looks like somebody from magic there, huh? You got a wizard? Boy, you got a wizard? This is my time machine. A time what? Time machine. Well, can we use it to go in the future? Yeah. Get away from my dad? We can run away to the future. Get my freedom? Yeah. Let's go then. Are you sure about this? Yeah, it's perfectly safe. Well, all right then. Bye. Guess it's my turn. Huck, Jim, welcome to the future. Oh my goodness, this must be the president's house. No, it's just this kid named Eric's house. Is Eric the president? Thankfully, no. Hey Jim, you know in this day and age, black people are free? <gasps> A what? So, Jim, as a free man, what do you want to do first? I say, how about we go ring that damn doorbell? Let's do it. Okay. In this day and age, this isn't that all uncommon. Okay. So, Alright, so we just ring it, and we run. Yeah, that's it. Sounds we, hard. We gotta be... <laughs> not really. Okay. We gotta be quiet, though. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh no! Awesome! Now what do we do? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Here we are, at Walmart, where there's always low prices. Always. Well, what do we do here? Walmart is where you come when you want to shop. What shopping, James?
I guess shopping's not for us. Yeah, you could say that again. And it's getting dark, and I still haven't done my project. Well, let's get on it. Let's get, get on, on it. it. So you want to hear the real story? Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you. First off, my father was a drunk, and he was very abusive to me. So I had to leave the house. I had to fake my own murder to leave. Pig blood and all, you know. So I set off to go on the river, and that's where I found Jim. Hey, I'm Jim. Yep. But we found some snake skin, and... That gosh darn snake skin, I'll tell you what. That's where all our bad luck started. We set off on the Mississippi River towards the north, where I had to escape my abusive dad and civilization. And I had to go and get my freedom, because whoopings hurt real bad. Mm-hmm. Long story short, we wound up on some cr pretty crazy adventures. I had to dress up like a girl. And then we ran into two very interesting people, the Duke and the Dolphin, where they scammed us and the townspeople with their plays. Mm -hmm. We wound up with these two crazy families that always seemed to try to shoot each other. And oddly enough, Jim wound up in a tool shed. It was pretty dark in that there tool shed, but luckily, Tom and Hook got me out of there. Yep, and everything was all right. You know, Jim, I never told you this, but the whole time during the trip, I was deciding whether or not to turn you in. You what? Yep, it's true. But throughout the trip, I learned a very important life lesson about friendship and not being racist and just living life to the fullest. Sometimes you gotta escape to do that. I learned about the same with freedom, too, because, you know, sometimes freedom, if it's worth for all the right reasons, you must have, you have to go with it sometimes, you know? Word. Wake up, dude. Come on. You have to shake the bench. It's been Christmas break. You've been here for two weeks, James. Yeah, it's been like two weeks since you since you fell asleep. I've been sleeping on the bench for two weeks. Yeah, we two thought weeks. we thought it was funny. Yeah. Come on, dude, school starting. Come on, come on. I didn't even start my English project. Let's go. That's good enough. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about you day and night It's only right to think about the girl you love And hold her tight So happy together If I should call you up Invest a dime And you say you belong to me It leaves my mind Imagine how the world could be So very fine So happy together Toss the dice, it had to be The only one for me is you And you for me, so happy together Toss the dice, it had to be 